Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all right? You'll notice in the cannabis industry, a new genetic could come in and niggas will get to do the choppy choppy on it, right? And that's called a cross cycle, right? When it comes in, it comes from such and such breeder says this strain is hot, and then it goes into the cross cycle. That means niggas is crossing it up with every which way they want. The best thing you can do with the brand is to get it direct from the breeder and the reason why you sincerely want to get it direct from the breeder is because you're at the front of the cross cycle like the reason why we would sit and wait at the line for these drops is so we can have front seat with these cross cycles meaning that we can get ahead of the curb ahead of the other rest of, we can get ahead of everybody so we can ride the wave of the hype with the brand Hold on, hold on. This is, this is my little angel move. I'm trying to be a good boy. I'm trying to be a good boy. So when you look at uh, Jet Fuel Gelato, right? Jet Fuel Gelato got in a cross cycle of gastropop. And then that gastropop got into my cross cycle with the Green Mamba. I think, I hope I, I'm hope I'm, I, I hope I am conveying this in a manner that you kind of somewhat understand where I'm coming from. Because a lot of cats is like, dog, you just be buying hell expensive shit. There's a reason behind it, bro. If I stay ahead of the cross cycles, like if I can get it directly for the breeder before it gets to the fucking seed bank, before it gets into open consumption, I'm a couple of steps ahead of the game. And if I'm a couple of, a couple of steps ahead of the game, my competitors can't do shit because they're still buying 